Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. I cannot wait to share with you how to make these yummy ginger snap cookies and we're also going to be making some ginger snap ice cream sandwiches. Well are you ready? Let's get started. So first what we're going to do is we're going to get together our dry ingredients. So in my bowl I'm going to be putting two cups of flour and I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour. Now this is a part of my 12 days of cookies and holiday treats where I share with all of you a new video for 12 days leading up to Christmas of some wonderful holiday cookies and Christmas treats to share with your friends and your family. So be sure to come back tomorrow so you can see what we're going to be baking or making next. So, so far in our bowl, we have our two cups of flour and then we also put just a pinch of regular table salt. And now I'm going to be putting in some baking soda and we're going to be using two teaspoons of baking soda. Now to that, we're going to be adding some of our spices for our ginger snap cookies. I'm going to be adding some ground ginger and that's one teaspoon of ground ginger. Next we're going to also add some cloves and we're going to add in a half of a teaspoon of cloves. I love those ground cloves. They're just so aromatic. Next we're going to also put in some ground cinnamon and we're going to be putting in one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So those are all the spices that are going to go in our ginger snap cookies. And then I just use my fork and you just want to whisk together those spices with the baking soda, our pinch of salt and our two cups of flour. Now in the description box below, I will have a list of all the ingredients you need to make these wonderful, yummy ginger snap cookies for your friends and family. But what I'm sharing with you is how to take those ingredients and put them all together. Now with this recipe, we actually are going to be using some shortening. This is an old school recipe, so we're going to be using our vegetable shortening and we're using three-fourths of a cup of vegetable shortening. Now because we're using vegetable shortening with this recipe, we don't need to refrigerate our cookie dough. We don't need to um, worry about doing that with this recipe. So we're going to be able to bake our cookies right away. Now in my sand mixer, once I got the vegetable shortening going and kind of softened it up a bit and kind of like whipped it, I went on and I put in my sugar. That was light brown sugar and I put in one cup of light brown sugar. Now we're going to add in our egg. Now once you get the brown sugar and the shortening going together, then you can go in and add in your egg. And my egg was at room temperature and that was one large egg. Now we're going to put in some molasses. That's going to give our ginger snaps that nice, deep, rich flavor. Now also with these ginger snap cookies, they're going to be crispy around the edges and on the outside. And the center is going to be slightly chewy. Okay. Now if you want your ginger snap to be a little bit crispier, what you would do is, well, I'll show you what you're going to do when we get to that point. Now once the shortening, the egg, and the brown sugar have whipped together well, we're going to go ahead and add in our molasses. And we're going to be using four tablespoons of molasses. Now if you are new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're a returner, welcome back. And I am so excited to share the 12 days of cookies and holiday treats. This is my third annual 12 days series and in the description box below and also linked at the end of this video I will put my previous two years of 12 days of cookies and holiday treats vlogs so that way you have some wonderful recipes that you can share with your family and friends so in our mixing bowl I'm putting our dry ingredients of our flour our salt and our baking soda and you don't want to dump it in all at once just put in a little bit at a time so that way the flour and that batter that we're making for our ginger snaps has a chance to absorb nicely and you don't end up with like it'll just be really like clumpy and too dry and it won't mix well so just put your flour in just about a cup or so at a time and I know during this time of year not everyone is able to spend time with their family or has family that they can be with so I hope that spending time with me in my kitchen brings you some holiday joy so once we have our batter and we make it into a nice ball into our mixing bowl, what we're going to do is we're going to put this aside and we are going to go on and start making our ginger snap cookies. So I have tidied up my countertop and what we're going to do is we're going to put some regular granulated sugar in a bowl. I like um, kind of using a small bowl, not too big. And you just maybe need about, I put about 
two uh, tablespoons of regular granulated sugar. Then I'm going to be using my little dough scooper. The dough scooper is about the size of, say, um, like a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon. And then you roll just the majority, except for the bottom. You want to uh, roll it around in the granulated sugar. And we're going to place those on our cookie sheet. Now, this batter is going to give you enough for about three to four dozen cookies, kind of depending on how big or small that you decide to make your ginger snaps. We're going to put this in the oven at 375. They are going to bake for eight to 10 minutes. Also, if you want to make your ginger snaps uh, a little bit more crispier than what they're going to come out, what you want to do is press them down prior to baking them. So when they're in that ball and they have the um, the granulated sugar on them, what you want to do is use a flat bottom of a glass or a cup, a flat bottom, put a little bit of butter or either you can use shortening on the bottom and gently press and press them down onto the cookie sheet prior to baking them and they will come out thinner and a little crispier than what they already are. Well, these are our ginger snap cookies. They have baked up so nicely. It smells so good in the kitchen. Oh my goodness. And these are our cookies right here. They have come out so perfect, y'all. They're going to make wonderful ice cream sandwiches. And so go ahead and take a bite. Let's go on and try our cookies before we go on and fill them with ice cream. That bite right there, that's for you. Let me try them. Oh, y'all. These are like Christmas right here. Oh, my goodness. So the cookies are nice and crispy around the edges. There's that little softness in the center. And ginger snaps are not a very sweet cookie. They're a very well spiced cookie. And all those warm holiday spices really come through. And so it makes it a perfect ice cream sandwiches. Now, you can use to make your ice cream sandwiches either vanilla ice cream like I'm using or you can use pumpkin ice cream pumpkin or pumpkin spice ice cream with these ginger snap cookies made into an ice cream sandwich y'all is so good it is so good so these are so great and so what i do is you can have them just like this or you can also put some holiday sprinkles on them now before you put your holiday sprinkles on them what you want to do is use the back of a small spoon and just kind of um smooth out the edges you see how i'm doing there i just kind of go around and i smooth out the edges and it doesn't have to be perfect because let me tell you they're going to enjoy them anyway and so just kind of smooth out the edges just to kind of get it a little bit even as best as you can and then once i do that i just sprinkle put some sprinkles on and this is something you can definitely have the kids do make the ice cream sandwiches they can make a variety of ice cream sandwiches with different holiday sprinkles on them if they like and then i usually take them and i wrap them in plastic wrap individually and i put them in the freezer well i hope you give this recipe a try if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go on and hit that subscribe button. It's free. And if you like this video and appreciate the content, don't forget to show it some love. Give it a thumbs up and click share and share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.